From Television City in Hollywood, CBS presents America's most exciting new show, The Joker's Wild. <laughs> now, here's the host of our show, Jack Perry. Thank you. Thank you very much, and very pleasure to welcome once again to The Joker's Wild program where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. A program where winners can win up to $25,000 in cash and prizes. And yesterday, on our program, we were right in the middle of a very exciting game when our time ran out. In just a moment, we're going to finish that game and see if our current champion can retain his crown or whether he'll be defeated. So, Johnny Jacobs, would you reintroduce our two players, please? That'll do, Jack. Our champion from yesterday, a former college student who'd like to win enough money to go back to school, Ed Hackey. And here's the challenger, a former Internal Revenue Service employee, Mary Sprouse. Welcome back to the program, Ed and Mary. Ed, you did very well yesterday. You won one game, you were $550 to the good, and you won a number of prizes, and then you decided to risk it and go on and play against Mary. Mary, how are you feeling? Fine. You accumulated $450 on the program yesterday, and you were very, very close to a win, and Ed, you have $300. That's the score right now. When our time ran out, both of you feel like getting right to it and see who is the winner of this game? Yes. All right. Ed and Mary will be finishing this game in just a moment, but first we have these messages. My firm. Okay, players, in just a moment we'll resume our game, but for people who are watching the first time, let me once again go over the rules of the Joker's Wild. You players, of course, pull those levers in front of you, which activate our category wheels, make them spin. Now, if the players come up with three different categories, like this, they answer one question correctly on any of the categories, and they score $50. If they come up with a pair and a single, like this, a correct answer on the single gets $50, a correct answer on the pair gets $100. If our players make a triple, like this, all they have to do is answer one question on that category correctly, and they score $150. Now, the name of the game is the Joker's Wild, and Jokers are on the wheel, and they are wild. So players, as you know, you can use them to make any combination you like. First player to score $500 or more in proper turn wins the game, keeps the money, and plays a bonus round for some lovely gifts. One other thing, if at any time you get three Jokers like that, you automatically win the game regardless of what the score is. You win it right then and there. Now, as uh, a continuation of yesterday's game, we'll be using the same categories. The categories we're using are Wild West, Ornithology, Rock Groups, Women's Lib, and Democrats. Once again, the score is 300 for Ed, who was our current champion, against Mary's 450, who was the contender. And as our game ended, it was your turn to go, Ed, with your $300. We ask you now to spin the wheels, and we wish you both good luck. Women's Lib, Democrats, Rock Groups. Three different categories. You can have your choice of any of the three for $50. Which will it be? Rock groups. Rock groups for $50. Gimme Shelter is a movie dealing with a concert tour of what rock group? The Rolling Stones. Right. You go to $350. <laughs> As you know, you have to get the 500 to win. You're very close to it. You're at 450 Mary, trying to take the champion's crown away. Spin them, and good luck to you. Ornithology, Joker, Democrats. As you know, any one correct answer would give you a victory because all you need is $500. How do you play it? Well, I'm going to use my Joker and go off the board again. You're allowed to go off the board if you don't like the categories, which you don't, and pick one of the five categories in use. Which do you pick? Wild West. You want the Wild West. Yes. If you answer this correctly, you will have $500 and you will become our new champion. Here is the question. Tell us the name of the New York newspaper editor who is credited with advising, go west, young man, go west. Horace Greeley. You're right. You're the new champion for $500. There you have it. $500, Mary. You're the new champion. And in just a moment, I'll give you an opportunity to spin the wheels on our bonus game for some lovely prizes. We have a lot of things to give away to you, uh, Ed, but first... 
for not winning this game. We have some lovely prizes anyway. Would you tell us, Johnny, about the prizes he gets anyway right now? Right, Jack. A new electric wok from West Bend. This modern-day version of the ancient oriental cooking vessel is great for frying, simmering, and stewing. And for dessert, we also have for you delicious Villainy Ready Crust. Your dessert will seem like it came from the pastry chef. Ready Crust, a special treat, just Villainy. Well, it, if that's not enough... <laughs> And I'm sure you have a lovely girlfriend who's amused some of those. As you know, as we warned you yesterday, if you go ahead and play, and you do take a risk, because you do lose the $550 that you had won on yesterday's game, but you do take home the three prizes you won yesterday. A color television set, which is worth $500. We have a vacuum cleaner, which I'm sure you can use for your bachelor apartment, for $283 and a $25 gift certificate. About $808 worth of prizes altogether. You've been a lovely champion, if, although a very quick one, and I know everybody joins me in saying goodbye to Ed Hackett. Goodbye, Ed. I'd like to point out at this time about our Joker's Jackpot. We started our Joker's Jackpot with $2,500. The rule of the game is if somebody loses after they've been the champion, the money we take back from them goes into the jackpot. And so we add the $550 to the $2,500, and we have now in our Joker's Jackpot $3,050, if my calculation are correct. And that'll go to any player who wins four games in a row. All right, Mary, now it's time for you to play our bonus game. As you know, you get two spins. If you don't like what you see the first spin, you spin again. We have prizes on the wheel, not categories. If you, the second spin, of course, whatever comes up there, you have to take. And we have prizes ranging anywhere from 10 or $20 all the way up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. One other thing, some of the prizes have circles around them, like that color TV set. If you should get three prizes, all of which have circles around them, not only will you get the prizes, but you will get another handsome gift. Here it is, Johnny, tell her about it. Chevelle Malibu Coupe fits more families, more budgets, and more garages. The popular mid-size Chevelle from Chevrolet, building a better way to see the USA. That's yours, and you get three prizes with three circles around them. All right, Mary, you get two spins, remember. Spin number one coming up. Give them a good whirl. Good luck. The whirlpool bath, a dinette set, and a couple of cases of coffee. You want to or do you want to spin again? I'll spin again. You want to spin again? You understand. You understand those prizes are gone. Whatever comes up next are yours. Okay? Here we go. Spin them again. Whirlpool pad, refrigerator freezer, and frozen food. All of those three are yours. Johnny Davis, will you tell her a little bit about the prize and she's won? A jacuzzi whirlpool bath. You'll love the refreshing feeling of gentle, luxurious water massage in your own home with your jacuzzi whirlpool bath. Relax and enjoy it. From Gibson, a Foodmaster refrigerator freezer featuring picture frame doors, cantilever shelves, custom interior rollers, and Gibson's exclusive frost clear system in both the refrigerator and freezer sections. Now, Kellogg's say good evening with two cases of these tasty frozen snacks. 16 per package, choice of shrimp, lobster, chicken, pizza, sausage, and pepperoni filling. There you have it. All right, Mary. You won those two lovely prizes. You have $500 in the game, and now you have a big decision to make. You can quit right now, take $500 home, and take those three prizes home. They're worth about $850. Or you can go on and play another game. But if you go on and play another game, and if you lose, you lose the $500. You do keep your prizes, however. Let me give you a little incentive, however. If you go on and play and win four games in a row, not only will you keep all the money you accumulate and all the prizes that you get, because you keep spinning those wheels after every game you win, but you will... After four successful games, take home our jackpot, which right now stands at $3,050. What is your decision going to be? Do you quit now with the prizes and money or meet another player? I'll stay. Thank you, Bart. I'm going to stay. I want to stay. Okay? In just a moment, we'll find out who the next player is, but first, we have these messages. <laughs> Mary Sprouse is our champion, and in just a moment we'll find out whether she can retain her championship as we introduce the next challenger. Johnny? Jack, he's a writer out of El Paso, Texas, and his name is Sid Crown. Welcome to the Joker Club, Sid. 
Delighted to have you here. Always nice to have a writer. You've been writing anything currently? Uh, a lot more than people have been reading, Jack. <laughs> well, I'm sure that if you write as well as you look so handsome, that I'm sure you'll sell many, many of your stories. Thank you. Sid and Mary, in this next game, here are the categories which we'll be using. We'll be playing with animals, Shakespeare, femme fatales, movie monsters, and chess. Champion always goes first. That would be you, Mary. Remember, you have to get the $500 or more in proper turn to win the game. And if you will, spin the wheels. You've got Shakespeare, Joker, Joker. Woo, how are you going to play that? As you know, you can have a triple on Shakespeare if you like. I'll take Shakespeare for 150. Show all the way. Shakespeare for 150. Shakespeare described a mischievous and merry fawn-faced fellow as a wanderer of the night. Name this delightful fairy-type character who appears in A Midsummer's Night's Dream. Puck. Right for $150. And you are off to a flying start. Sid Brown, this is your first spin. Good luck to you. Let's see what the wheels have in store. Movie monsters, animals, animals. Yeah, you can play a pair of animals. One question will get you $100 if it's right. Movie monsters is only a $50 question. I'll take the animals for $100. $100 on animals. This aquatic, ma aquatic mammal derives its name from the Greek words meaning river horse. For $50, what is it? Hippopotamus. Right for $50. $100, excuse me, my for $100. Score 150 to 100, right back to you, Mary. Spin them if you will. Animals, movie monsters, movie monsters. How do you play? I'll take movie monsters for 100. All right. Here's the question. Charles Edward Pratt achieved stardom in the early 30s when cast in the role of the monster in the original version of Frankenstein. For $100 more, by what more popular name do we know this English actor? Uh, Boris Karloff. Right, you go to $250. <laughs> All right, Sid, your turn to spin, if you will. Movie monsters, animals, Shakespeare. Movie monsters for 50 It's a $50 question, three different categories. James Arness played a monster found frozen in the polar ice in what famous the Howard thing. Hawks motion picture? The Thing. The Thing is right. You go to $150. $450 to $150. Right back to Mary. All right, Mary's class. Chess. Joker. Chess. Now what do you do? I'll take a chess for $150. Chess for $150. You go all the way with you. Get you up to $400. One chess man is restricted to diagonal moves only. For $150, name it. Bishop. Right, you're at $400. You're very close to going out once again. All right, kids, spin them if you will. Shakespeare, movie monster, animals. Movie monsters. $50, of course, to single once again. The latest craze in movie monsters is not in the weird, bizarre category, but rather found in the everyday things and creatures around us. In keeping with this, what were Socrates and Ben? Uh, rats. Yes, for $200 in total. For now, 400 to 200 Mary, you could conceivably go out, go over $500, and please remember, Sid has one final turn. Spin him, if you will. Movie monsters, femme fatale, joker. Now, what do you do? I'll take femme fatales for 100 if you answer correctly, you will have $500, which is all you need, but you remember that Sid does get a final turn. Here is your question. She is known as the beauty whose face launched a thousand ships. For $500, name her. Helen of Troy. Right, for $500. <laughs> Helen of Troy, you're very close to a second victory with this one exception. Sid, you have $200. Under our scoring system, there is only one way you could still win the game. That is, if you come up with three jokers. As you know, three jokers automatically gives you a victory. Otherwise, there's no possible way for you to win. So, with your heart in your mouth and a trembling hand, give it one last spin. The game is over, and the champion is Mary Sprout. Congratulations, Mary.
Stay right there, Sid. Stay there. Stay right there, Sid. I have something for you. Indeed. Jerry Sprouse has won another $500, and she is now winning her second game. She is winning $1,000. And in a moment, Mary will give you a chance to spin, the, uh, spin those prize wheels once again. But, Sid, you don't go home empty-handed at all. We do have some prizes for you. Johnny, would you tell us about them? Right, Jack. It's Charm Goet, the completely portable gas grill that goes anywhere, camping, beach, patio, or poolside, instant flame without starter fluids or charcoal. Charm Glow products, Antioch, Illinois. And to add those outdoor gatherings, an assortment of party time cocktail mixes. Party time is tops in quality, tops in variety, and now everyone can make a perfect drink every time. There you are, Sid. And I know everybody here is trying to do the same. I'm sorry you couldn't win more, but thanks for being with us. Goodbye, Sid Brown. Thanks for being with us. All right, Mary. You have yourself a thousand dollars in winnings, and as you know, you have a chance now to spin the wheel once again, two times. Now we don't have categories up there. We have prizes ranging in value from twenty, thirty, forty dollars up to hundreds of dollars. You want to take spin number one? Go ahead. Here comes spin number one. Let's see what you get. Air conditioner, soup, piano. <laughs> Hold on one second, audience. Those three are yours right now in addition to everything else, or you can spin once more. If you do, these prizes are gone. What do you want to do? You want? She's going to keep it. Those three prizes are yours. Johnny, tell us a little bit about the lovely prizes she's won. Right, Jack, from Frederick, a portable room air conditioner for quiet, dependable, big capacity, cool. Your Frederick works right when you get it, works right when you use it. And two cases of Lipton onion soup, combining fresh-tasting onions with blended seasonings, great for dips, sauces, and burgers. Steaks and roasts come alive with Lipton onion soup. And a Kimball spinach, combining big quality cone with Kimball style cabinetry. Fashion is selected hardwoods and professionally crafted in every detail from the Kimball Piano and Organ Company. There you are. Lovely prizes all. In a moment, we'll come back and find out whether our champion is going to quit or continue playing. But first, we have these messages. I like it. All right, Mary. Now you are faced with a decision. You've won twice in a row. You have $1,000 in cash. You have almost $2,000 in prizes. And as you know, if you go on, you take a risk. Because if you go on, and if you should lose to the next player, the $1,000 that you have won so far will be taken from you and will be put into our jackpot, the Joker's jackpot. However, if you do stay on, and if you do win two more games, that's all you need is two more. You have two already. Not only will you keep all the money you've won and all the prizes that you're winning, but in addition, you will break the Joker's jackpot, which now stands at $3,050. And that money will be yours. Think about it very carefully. Do you want to quit now with your money and prizes, or do you want to take a risk and play on? I think I'll keep playing. You can't keep playing. As they said in 76, that's the spirit. All right. In order to play another game, we have to have another player. So, Johnny Jacobs, would you tell us who that would be, please? Jack, he hails from Morantz's past Texas partner, and his name is Tex Crenshaw. <laughs> Howdy, Tex. Hi. What's the name of that town you come from? Arantzis Pass. Texas. <laughs> Texas. And you, uh, you lived a ranch life out there for a while? No, I, I, part of the time, part of the time I was here and there, it's just a little bitty place. You blink your eyes, you miss it, you know. <laughs> well, we're delighted to have you with us, Tex, here on the program, and you're going to take on a very, very tough champion there, Mary Sprouse, who's won two games. This is her third. And in this game, here are the categories which we'll be using. We will be playing with fashions, the Bible, detectives, nursery rhymes, and Republicans. How does that grab you, Tex? I dig that action. <laughs> All right. Champion always goes first in our game. Good luck to you, Mary Sprouse. Spin the wheels, if you will. Joker, detectives, fashion. Want to okay. make a pair or substitute a category? No, I'll take detectives for one hundred. One hundred dollars at stake, and here's the question: Gilbert Keith Chesterton wrote many short stories featuring a priest who more or less moonlighted as a detective. For $100, name him. 
Father Brown. Right. You've got $100 going in. Tex Crenshaw, hailing from Texas, is up. All right, Tex, get in one of those Texas worlds. Republican, the Bible, and a joker. As you know, you can make a pair on the Bible, a pair on Republicans, or go into another category. I'll, I'll take the Republican for 100 Republicans for 100 I don't, uh, naturally don't want to ask you what political affiliation you're on. All you have to do is answer the question. This Republican senator from Wisconsin won national attention in 1950 when he charged that the State Department had been infiltrated by communists. For $100, who was this leader of a special investigating subcommittee? Point of order, Joe McCarthy. Right for $100. All tied up. All right, Tex. Mary? Mary, it's your turn to spin. Let's see what you come up with. Fashions, Republicans, the Bible. What do you take? I'll take the Bible for 50 The Bible for $50. And the question is, an Old Testament hero of the book of Genesis was the younger son and favorite of his father, Jacob. However, he was hated by his ten older brothers who sold him as a slave. Name him. Joseph. Right, you have another $50 at 150 All right, check your spin if you will. Go ahead, give it a whirl. And you've got Republicans, Joker, and Republicans. What do you do? I'll take it. All the I'll take it. $150. $150 right on it. Who is the present black senator from Massachusetts? Edward Brooke. Right, you go to $250. Let's see if you can continue with the game. Try to get time left. The first we have these messages right now. Gene Rayburn's greatest openings, The Hurdle. And that's only the beginning. Match game tonight at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Check it out. I'll take things that end with $25,000. Up next, it's the $25,000 pyramid. Then let's start the family feud and catch a sizzling round of hot potato. Our time has run out. Mary, can you come back tomorrow and finish this game? Yes, I can. How about you, Tex? Yes, sir. Very good, and so can I. We'll see you all tomorrow, and congratulations, Mary. See you tomorrow on The Joker's Wild. Goodbye, everybody. All contestants are selected in advance and are advised on the rules of the game.